I'll tell a story about my wife, Janine. You will not tell my wife this story. Um, <laughs> Janine and I know each other, if you haven't figured that out. Um, my wife is a school teacher. She's been a school teacher for 19 years. And she's a good teacher. I want to own that right up front. What my wife doesn't do well, and what teaching in some ways, at least in New York, has turned into in some ways, is you're become, you've become the manager of a classroom in some sense. That she works in special education, she has three or four assistants that in some way she has to manage. Those assistants end up doing more, te more actual one-on-one -on -one teaching with the students than she does. She sort of ends up managing their work in some way. Does that make sense? Um, and she gets overwhelmed by large amounts of students in her class. So she could probably do about seven or eight really well, but if you give her 12, you know, there are students running out of the classroom. She has a hard time managing that in some way, and she knows this about herself. So she had gone through a series of jobs, and I had said to her, I said, well, I said, you know, none of these really seem to be a good fit for you, and you end up leaving them and you're, you're unhappy, or they end up telling you that you should leave them <laughs> because they're unhappy. And she was like, I don't know. I seem to be spinning my wheels. I've been doing this for a long time. I don't know what else I can do. And I said, well, here's what I see. I see that you really get excited about children learning. And I said, but what I also see is that you don't necessarily play and work well with others, and B, that you get overwhelmed by these large amounts of students. So is there a job somewhere where you don't have to work with large amounts of students and you have no assistance. And she was like, I don't know, I'll get back to you. And I said, okay. She ended up finding that there's this thing called itinerant teaching. She goes into one classroom in the morning, works with one kid, and she leaves after two hours. She goes to another kid's home, she works with one kid, and she leaves after two hours. She loves doing this. At Thanksgiving this year, we said, what's the moment of gratefulness? And she goes, I can't believe I'm going to say this for the first time in about eight years, my job. And she goes, thank you. And I said, you're welcome. <laughs> and I said, I am the master of discernment. You know? <laughs> and she just laughed. Uh, and I, was, I was like, you know, I said, but really. I said, sometimes it's just looking back. Sometimes we can't see it for ourselves. And we might need somebody else who can act in that omniscient role for us when we're sort of stuck and unable or have challenges in doing that for our very selves. That help? First of all, thank you so much to Mike for...